Here's Coach Wiley after the season finale, loss 28-23 against Frostburg State. Coach, uh, just overall statement on the game? Well, we played hard. We did what we need to. We just didn't make one play. Um, you know, when you're in a one-score game, one play along the lines, and you can name a, a number of different plays. The first two that come to mind were um, in the first half when the ball was kind of <laughs> the football slipped out of the quarterback's hand, and they completed one, and the other one we didn't get. Um, other than that, I thought our pass defense was a lot better than it had been. Uh, especially coming off last year's game where they set school records throwing the ball against us. I thought we did a good job defensively and, and, and against the pass. And we're, you know, offensively, we're somewhat balanced. You know, the big, big plays in the game for them is the turnovers. We've got to eliminate those. And, you know, in the offseason, we've got to see how to eliminate those because that's what our Achilles heel all year. And then you guys started strong both halves, uh, opening drive, touchdowns. Uh, just talk about getting off to those starts. No, I, I thought we played a lot faster. We are a lot crisper. We caught them off guard. And, you know, they're one of the best defenses in the conference. And it seemed like we played better against the better defenses uh, this year for some reason or another. Uh, I can't put my finger on it. I wish I could. Um, but no, and when we battled, and but there's no moral victories. We had an opportunity to win that game, and we didn't. And you know, I'm sure that they were thinking they were going to have an easy one, and we had a chance to win at the end, and just didn't make the play to win the game. Yeah, and the Frostburg came in with kind of a dull threat behind uh, the two running backs. Both got up over or right around 100 yards. Yeah, Talk about handling those two guys. Well, we knew. We, I mean, we, you know, we had them on the ropes there for a while. There was kind of three consecutive plays where we had tackles for loss. But, you know, Frostburg has one of the best division lines, not only in the conference, but in Division Two. And, you know, the, the one guy, I guess a senior, is getting looked at by every NFL team. But, no, nah, I thought we did a good job overall. Um, and put it this way, the, the, the object is to hold them under what we score and score but you know you want to talk about the difference in the game was the strip sack for a touchdown that was probably the only difference i think if you look at stats look at everything else they're probably close to even um, but the toner took the two big turnovers were the difference a little bit of wildcat today yeah i mean you got to get creative um and i think coach mcgee does a good job of trying to um, give a new wrinkle each week that they're not prepared for and it worked and you're not going to live in it but you're going to run it enough to keep them on edge and you know I was which would have let Quincy throw one he's left-handed I don't know <laughs> why but um, no and you know the one thing that I really want to say is I can't thank the senior group enough you know that most of them have been here at West Liberty for, for six five four years whatever it may be and with the invention of the transfer portal, it's hard to see, you know, senior classes of over 20 kids, but that's a testament to the institution that they're staying here. They're all on track to graduate. Um, I, you know, and I'm a football coach first. I want to win games, don't get me wrong. And, you know, Karen, my wife tells me all the time, you know, you can't. <laughs> be mad every time you lose those kids are winning by graduating and things like that but it, you know at the end of the day we got to win and you know I think we're close there's not a big discrepancy so to say it's not like you know we've been in every game except for one maybe I thought that we didn't handle the adversity very well um, but other than that we fought we played hard kids were in position to make plays now they got to make the plays or you find the kids that can make the plays and so, you know, and obviously with this big of a senior class, the recruiting becomes even bigger. Um, but, you know, there was a lot of kids we redshirted this year. The future's bright. And, you know, I'm excited um, about what's happening here in football. We just got to learn to win. And um, winning as an attitude is something you do every day. And that's what we got to get doing. We got to get that to transition onto the football field because they're winning in the classroom. Obviously, when you got that many kids graduating, but it has to translate to the field. All right. Thanks, coach. Appreciate all your time this year. Thank you.